Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, I'm an Adobe Developer Evangelist. Uh, so this is my new episode from the HTML5 for App Developer series. Uh, this time we'll cover IDE, uh, and I think it's the last episode where I'll be covering IDEs. And this time uh, it's one of those IDEs that probably I'll stick for some time. Uh, so it is a, it's called PHP Storm. Uh, it's coming from a company called JetBrains. It's a company from Czech. Uh, it, those guys stand behind uh, the, the really great ID for Java development called uh, IntelliJ. Uh, so on the same platform, they built PHP Storm and also its younger brother WebStorm, which is just for uh, HTML development, where PHP also has a PHP as it sounds uh, development features all right so uh, enough for free advertisement uh, let the tool speak for itself okay so I already have it running and it's one more uh, really great thing about it is built on a Java platform so it's it's cross OS it can run on Windows Mac uh, and Linux uh, let's create a new project then new project let's call it hello world There we go. Within that project, we can uh, create new subfolder where we want to uh, put our uh, source files. And as you can see here, uh, similarly like we had in Eclipse, we have here uh, on the left hand side with a project explorer where we can put over our, of our uh, the source code of our app. Uh, in the www folder, uh, I can place my new HTML fi file and let's give it a name index and let's select HTML5 file. Okay. And now when it's created, you can see it has the HTML5 schema. And uh, let's create an additional subfolder where we'll put our scripts. So there we go. And within that folder, I'll create a JavaScript file. So let's call it main.js. Uh, now, uh, within the body here, uh, first of all, let's look at some HTML editor features. So let's create a hello world a paragraph here. Let's uh, style that paragraph. So let's add a style uh, and style type will be C text CSS. It, and as you can see, it auto completes and it also auto closes the tags when I when I type. And now here we can style all our paragraphs within our document here uh, to have a color. And look here, control space. You can actually pop up a, a panel where you can see all the web colors, or you can choose a color that you want from this color pa panel. All right, let's choose uh, yellow like this, and it also nicely shows you uh, the color on this uh, left bar here. And now all my paragraphs should be uh, yellow. Let's add a button. So we'll use that button uh, in just a second. So button, let's give it a hello name. Uh, before we go further, let's go to JavaScript and let's create a function. Function called hello world, and with that function, we can pop up an alert box so you can see control space again. It auto completes alert so it nicely, and as you can see, it's really quick. And let's pop up a hello world message. Now, uh, one more thing if I want to add some external libraries, like let's say jQuery, we can create lips, lips folder. And in this folder, we can copy and paste or drag and drop actually uh, from the file system, my library. So it has added the library to my project. And guess what? You can actually start code completing uh, the jQuery functions. So you can see it nicely detected that I have jQuery in my uh, source path. And uh, it allows me to autocomplete uh the the jquery functions and it will do the same for other uh frameworks javascript files that you attach uh to your uh to your project uh, all right so we have here let's go back so we have the function which we can invoke let's link the main file uh, so in this case script 
and the script uh, can have the type and you can see it out of the text uh, or the code complete uh, we can select the source and the source uh, you can see it also has a code completion for the subfolders uh, in your project so scripts and it has a main GS here so if I close it it closes the script tag now if I wanna okay button we don't wanna style we wanna on click uh, event here and let's use our hello world so you can see how to complete completed the, uh, the function name because it found that it is linked with my from my main GS now if I want to debug and this is really the the feature number one for me uh, in that IDE is its debugging capabilities so I can go in here I can select a breakpoint let's uh, just in, let's create a verbal uh, let's call it like hello text and we can of course copy that so we can introspect the verbal value okay hello text here now uh, if I want to debug my uh, index HTML what I do I right click here I go debug index HTML or there'll be a shortcut uh, shift F9 by default it uh, launches Firefox but you can also configure Chrome uh, with that so it really works nicely and now as you can see my hello world text is of course yellow as we uh, want it to be and if I press hello it will switch back to uh, to PHP storm and it will show me nice debug panel here where I can see the whole stack of invocations from with of my uh, um, of my function so you can see where it was invoked from and of course this is very simple but if you're like debugging a framework or more, more sophisticated um, uh, application you can actually trace the whole stack of invocation of your code and here you can see that we have the hello text there is some uh, this property of course that we can introspect the hello uh, text we can see the value here so we can actually set the values of our variables while we are debugging so let's go here right click set uh, hello world one and now if I continue and switch back uh, to Firefox you can see hello world one value has popped up all right so um, as you can see um, PHP Storm or WebStorm or actually uh, IntelliJ uh, has really uh, advanced features for JavaScript and HTML5 uh, development. So I encourage you to give it a try. It's really worth and money and well have pleasure using it. Thanks and bye.